good afternoon professor and my friends this is our third assignment of network analysis microscopy filters for rf microwave applications this is prashant sharma doing phd under professor kim nam young rfic laboratory so this is our today's content i am going to talk about emittance inverters richard transformation and crude identities dissipation and unloaded quality factors so what is emittance inverter i am going to talk about definitions of emittance impedance and admittance inverter let's come to the emittance emittance is a electrical engineering and acoustic emittance is a concept combining the admittance and impedance of a system or a circuit the term emittance was invented by the hw bohr first time in electronics the emittance smith chart simply has both the impedance and admittance grids on the same chart which is useful for the cascading series connected with parallel connected electric circuits what is impedance impedance is a measure of opposition that a circuit present to a current when a voltage is applied impedance is a complex number with the c unit of as resistance for which the si unit is in ohm an idealized impedance inverter is a two port network that has a unique property of all frequencies Uh, the epcd matrix of ideal impedance inverter may generally be expressed as this formula admittance admittance is a measure of how easily a circuit or device will allow a current to flow it is defined as a reciprocal of impedance the si unit of admittance is siemens symbol is s in the order synonyms unit is mo and its symbol is opposite to the ohm so admittance is represented by the formula y is equal to 1 upon z where z is the admittance measured in siemens and Z is the impedance measured in ohm, and Y is the admittance measured in Siemens. Here, this is our next slide. Content filters with em emittance inverter. So it can be shown in the network analysis that a series inductance with the inverter on each side looks like a shunt capacitance from its exterior terminals, as indicated in Figure One. Here we can see is the in this figure. Emittance inverter used to convert a shunt capacitance into an equivalent circuit with a series inductance. Here we can see in a A figure the impedance is can how can we convert the emittance inverter uh, in a shunt capacitance with this equivalent circuit. In figure B, emittance inverter used to convert a series inductance into an equivalent circuit with shunt capacitance here we can see we use the capacitance to convert emittance invert into convert the series inductance in this figure as indicated inverters have the ability to shift impedance or admittance level depending on the choice of k or j parameter making use of these properties enable us to convert a filter circuit to an equivalent from that would be more convenient from implementation into a with microwave structure as we can see in the figure 2 low pass prototype filters modified to include emittance inverter how we can convert a low pass prototype filter into the emittance inverters in a electric circuit so next content is practical realization of emittance inverter one of the simplest form of inverter in a quarter wave length of transmission line it can easily be shown that uh, show a line has a abcd matrix of 
from the given equation 1 with k is equal to ZCO where Z and C is a characteristic impedance of the line therefore it can be impedance inverter definition by the equation 2 here Z1 is equal to K1, K2, K square upon Z2 Beside a quarter wavelength line there are numerous other circuits that operates an emittance inverter all necessarily produce a phase shift on some or multiple plus or minus 90 degree as many of uh, work for the much wider band width that the uh, quarter wavelength as shown in the figure 1 here we can see the lumped element emittance in the water in reality the G and K parameter of of this practical emittance in water are frequency dependence they can only approximate an ideal emittance for which a console, constant J and the K parameter is required over a certain frequency range so it is depend on the totally depend on the frequency, frequency range so next topic is Richard transformation and Kuroda entities Richard transformation what exactly meaning of Richard transformation you will learn it can be expressed by that is equal to 10H LP upon VP so distribution it is only depend on the distributed uh, transmission line element are the important for the designing practical microwave filters as we know so a commonly used approach to design for a practical distributed filter is to seek some approximate uh, equivalent between lumped and distributed element so Richard showed that distributed network comprises of commensurate lab equal electrical line, transmission line and lumped register could be treated in analysis or synthesis as lumped element LCR network under the transformations so it can be expressed by the T is equal to tan H LP over VP where T and is equal to rho and j omega is a usual complex frequency variable LP over the VP is the ratio of the length of the basic commensurate transmission line element to the phase velocity of the phase in such a line element so T is a new complex frequency variable here also known as Richard variable where T is defined is called a T plane and Richard variable it is simply expressed by the T is equal to Z tan theta our next point is Richard transformation. The periodic frequency responses on the distributed filter network is demonstrated in figure 1b as here we can see figure 1b which is obtained by applying the Richard transformation. Here we can see this is a frequency mapping between the frequency variable and the distributed frequency variable and applying the Chebyshev low pass responses using the Richard information transformation sorry. here we can see the lumped and distributed element correspondence under the Richard transformations in figure A and in figure B designing transformation line filter various network identities may be desirable to obtain filter network that are electrically equivalent but they differ in form or in uh, argument values so next point is couple line equivalent circuit. A pair of coupled transmission line with an pulse terminal condition such as open or short circuited at any one and two four port is an important type of two port network in filter designs. This is a Kuroda identity. So here we can see in figure A, figure B, figure C and figure D express the Kuroda identities coupled line equivalent circuit in general the losses of an inductor are conventionally represented by a resistant are connected in a series with a pure inductance L the loaded quality factor QU of the low C inductor is defined by Q U is equal to omega L over R in a similar fashion the low C capacitor may have the equivalent circuit as shown in this figure 
where g is a conductance connected in a parallel with the pure capacitance here you can see this is a lcr circuit this is lr circuits and g is conductance is a connected with the capacitance in a parallel connection the q u is the lossy capacitor is defined by this formula q u is equal to omega c over z this is a circuit representation of lossy reactive element and resonators unloaded quality factor of all reflective element in a filter are known determined theoretically or experimentally we can find r or g by using the formula unloaded quality factor of all reactive element are equal denoted by q u although in reality they can be different typical effect of a finite q u on the insertion loss response of the filter the value of the q u are given uh, at the cut off frequency of the low pass filter there are so many facts so some of them are here a shift of insertion loss by a constant amount determined by the additional loss at zero frequency this figure where we can see low pass filter circuit including lossy reactive element this one and uh, dissipation effect of insertion loss characteristic of the low pass filter here we can see in this figure b the effect of parasitic dissipation in the filter element are normally more than serious in a stop band in a pass band filter the stop band usually has one or two attenuation poles where it if the filter has no dissipation loss the attenuation would be infinite in addition to using the snapback analysis if the band pass band stop filter are designed based on the low pass prototype which have the ladder network structure network here we can see this is a band pass filter circuit including low c resonators here this capacitance inductance and resistance uh, this is the dissipation effect on the essential low characteristic of the band pass filter This is our references, a book on microwave filter for RF microwave application, and another reference part. That's all. Thank you so much, Professor.